Oh, someone left a bucket of toys. Gemma stuck her snout right in here. That's cute. Ooh, he is in that, Gemma. All kinds of stuff. Not like you don't have any toys at all. Ooh, it's windy. Testing the GoPro. Trying to figure out how to make it zoom. It's kind of hard to tell when this is recording. Oh, it'll just take me a little bit to get used to it. And I'm going to show you this RV that has been parked for about a month. And I don't know what's going on with this one. You know, I, I posted that short on that RV in the Walmart parking lot. And I got so many hateful and mean comments. I mean, just terrible, terrible. F you and, you know, call me a Karen and just mind your own business. And uh, oh my gosh, I was just wondering what the policy was for overnight stay at that particular Walmart close to me. But man, I almost did a, like a live video. I'm not, not a live video, but just a, another video just showing you some of the comments. I, I think I deleted them, but they may still be on my phone, but uh, oh my gosh. But you know, it's kind of funny, like people say that are YouTubers say, well, even negative comments help. So, you know, kind of the jokes on them, but I deleted a bunch of them. They were just terrible. Here, Gemma. She cheats too. Come and smell the balls. Like there's there's lots of balls, you know, just pain laying around here, and you have to, you know, handle them and put that put your hand on the ball, and then they smell it and they know that's the one you just threw. Because I've seen them, they'll check the balls, and if it's not the ball that I threw, they won't pick it up. Well, I tried to turn the GoPro off, and it won't turn off. And I said, you know, you can do a voice command and say start recording or record and, it's, and it just sits there. So now I can't turn it off. Uh, I got to figure it out. Uh, anyway, we're going to go in this new little part that we've never been on. That's quite a gully down there. Bluebird boxes out here. And if you haven't cleaned your bluebird boxes, you need to clean them before springtime. They won't get in there. They want to build a new nest every time. That's a neat little trail. There's a big ridge. Kind of hard to tell, but it's a big ridge. And then uh, I wasn't sure we could cross down here, but it looks like we can. And look, there's a, that is probably, I guess that's a bird blind up there. That's kind of neat. And then we're gonna cross down here. I don't know what that is. That water kind of scares me. No, we're not gonna drink out of that. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of green. <laughs> we're gonna go up this way. I would not want to be out here in the summer. It's very pleasant right now. It's in the low 60s today. Really, really breezy. Oh, we got to go up these steps. <laughs> okay, step, step. Good girl, Gemma. Wow, these are really neat. So it looks like each one of these is dedicated to a person. Let's go up and look. This looks like kind of hardy plank. Y'all really? Come on this way. Up this ramp, goons. Oh yeah, this is really nice in here. It's amazing how much just a little bit of structure can block the wind. Neat. Are you tired? They're tired because we went to the park first obviously and then now we're doing a little walk i like to do that because it gets them tired so Gemma doesn't pull so much and i can work with her on the pulling and jupe doesn't care one way or the other oh and there's a thing over there i want to go see what that is i'm gonna go check that out we had really high winds the other day and i even had one of my branches like this fall yep, sure did crazy kind of neat. Roadrunner. You can pause it, obviously. Yeah, the Golden Cheat Warbler 
It's a very, very endangered species and we're literally just a small portion of Texas is the only place they are found. Look at those giant trees coming out of that cliff. The little soil that's falling off the edge and enough to just have those big trees growing. Wow, and then it turns to just pure rock over there. Looks like the site of the Guadalupe River State Park that I've shown. There's some information on the invasive species. <laughs> Feral pigs are not dangerous. I don't know. I think in groups they might be. You know the axis deer, they say invasive species, but humans brought them here. <laughs> so, not a good idea. Huh. King Ranch blue stem. See, it just gets carried over here. Huh. Put these seats up. These are new. These weren't here before. I wish the Greenway in San Antonio would put this crushed gravel down instead of concrete. Concrete is so, ugh, so hard on you, really. And if you're a runner, that's not very good. I really prefer this crushed granite. It's one more little information board. Ooh, I like scorpions. I think they're neat animals. I don't know if y'all watched that video. I, did a I meant to do a short. It was before I nearly knew how to do a short and it came out as a long form video, but I, um, that one was underneath the blocks that I had the camper on. He was pretty big. And I haven't been over here to show you all this little covered area. They have a basketball court. And it's a neat area. They look, they got the water collection. They got the restrooms. This is nice. I just noticed, well, I guess we didn't come this way, so I didn't see this, but yeah, it's, look, a lot of these fell in that wind the other day. Wow. Well, we will see y'all next time. We're going to drive. I might stop at that RV and do a short video on it. It's kind of weird. I want to get the camper out. Um, I know there's a couple of things that could be wrong with those with that battery overcharging. Thank you, Mobile Tech. He says it could be it's probably the solar controller. It's overcharging them, so I really need to check that out. We'll get back out and about. Thanks for coming along, y'all, <laughs> for our exciting video of a GoPro half successful half fail that's okay i'll get it down here's the video i mean here's the thing i was telling you about i was kind of scared i was going to sink in the sand but this thing has been here for more than a month and you know what oh i thought someone might have stolen the batteries but i don't know why that's open like that i thought they had been in there and like stripped it weird See, this wasn't open before either, that little thing. This has been here about a month, so I don't know. And like I said, I got all those ugly comments on the video, but you know, I don't care, I'm just curious. And there's an RV park right up there. So I don't know, I wonder if they know something interesting. Oh, I hate a mystery. <laughs>